Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber of this channel, feel free to click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates. On today's video guys, I will teach you a calculator technique for evaluating Laplace transforms. Now, itong process natin guys is called the reverse engineering process. It means that we'll start from our answer to our solution. This is only applicable for board exam purpose only. Okay? So, huwag niyo gagamitin guys ha. In your undergrads kasi, for sure, mapagalitan kayo ng inyong mga professor. So, ito is for board examination purpose only. So, if you forgot the formula, you have no problem. You have this calculator technique. Now, let's just recall the Laplace transform. So, ang Laplace transform is a topic in advanced mathematics. So, the Laplace transforms, what it does is, it converts your differential equation problems into an algebraic approach. So, the application of this Laplace transforms uh, ranges from physics, electrical circuits, and for mechanical engineering, it's important in springs, oscillation, and of course for beams. Now, we'll just recall the concept of Laplace transform. So, the Laplace transform of the function of t. So, the Laplace means it is given by this symbol. So, we use t most of the time because we are differentiating with respect to time. So, is equal to, you have the integral of, you have e raised to negative s t function of t dt from 0 to infinity. So, yung s natin is a constant. So, s is a constant. Now, we have our first problem here. The Laplace transform of 3 e raised to negative 4 t. So, this calculator technique, guys, will only work if you have your choices with you. So, it means that this is a reverse engineering. So, in the board exam, you have a multiple choice, so you can do this process. So, it will be very easy for you to solve Laplace transforms. So, let's just input our function. So, our function of t is equal to 3 e raised to negative 4 t. So, input lang natin to guys sa calc -Q. So, the integral of, so input in calc -Q. So, the integral of, input natin yung given dito. So, this is 3e e raised to negative 4t. So, 3e e raised to negative 4t. So, yun ang given natin sa problem. So, yan ang i-input natin. Then, dadagdagan natin siya ng e raised to negative st dt. Then, maglalagay tayo ng limit na from 0 to kahit anong value. So, let's say 8. So, I commonly use 8. Not because para siyang infinity na upward position. But, I just have a feeling na mas maganda gamitin yung 8. So, let's just put here 8. So, ito lang ang tatanda natin guys. Itong form na to. So, integral of yung function na given. Then, dadaglagan lang natin ng e raised to negative st dt. Galing lang siya dun sa concept of Laplace transform. Now, yung S natin, lalagyan natin siya ng value. For this problem, let's say S, that S equals, let's say 2. So, lagyan natin siya ng 2. Then, automatic, input natin siya sa calculator. So, integral of, so, 0 to 8, we have 3e raised to we have negative 4. So, yung t natin, lagyan na natin ng x. So, e, alpha e, raised to, you have negative 2, alpha x. Then, press equals. So, tatandaan lang natin guys yung form na to. So, you have here guys, 1 half. So, yung nakuha natin answer is 1 half. Now, i-try natin i-substitute yung s na in natin kanina doon sa mga choices. So, let's say for letter B, ilagay natin yung 2. So, pwede mong itry lahat. Kung alin yung mag-satisfy na 1 half sa sinabstitute natin 2 kanina in this expression, it means that it is the correct answer. So, for B, it's obvious na siya yung answer. So, pag sinabstitute natin yung 2, let's say for letter B, so for for B, you have 3 over 
s plus 4. So, if s is 2, which is yung in natin kanina, we have 3 all over 2 plus 4. So, that is 3 over 6 or you have 1 half. It means that letter B is our correct answer. So, ganun lang guys. So, tandaan natin yung form guys, which is ito. So, ito, ito yung given. Then, ito yung form na itatandaan natin if you are going to use the calculator technique. So, yung function, dagdagan natin ng e raised to negative st. And then, yung s, mag-assume ka ng kahit anong value. Let's say, 2 dito. So, you can assume any values you want. Then, yung limit natin, gawin mo lang 0 to 8. Then, balik ka sa choices. And then, kung ano yung mag-satisfy sa equivalent nito, it means that it is the correct answer. So, meron tayo guys. So, yung next sample problem. The plus transform of sine t cosine t. So, ang function natin guys is sine t cosine t. Then, palitan lang natin guys yung sa equation natin dito. So, papalitan lang natin ito ng sine t cosine t. Then, yung s na ina natin is remain siya as so, ito guys, palagi lang siyang negative kasi it came from the concept of Laplace transform. So, ito lang yung ilalagay natin. Yung function na given, then yung i-assume natin na value ng s. So, di ba yung Laplace transform at the function of t is equal to you have integral of e raised to negative st function of t dt from 0 to infinity. So, i-assume lang natin dito that from 0 to infinity, let's say 8 Ang limit natin, 0 to 8. Then, mag-assume ka ng value ng S dito. Then, automatic input sa calc So, you have so integral of 0 to 8. You have sine t cosine t. Then, nice to negative S. So, yung S natin ay assume is 2. So, 2 alpha x. So, be sure guys na naka-radian tayo pag nag-evaluate tayo ng trigonometric function. So, shift mode. So, radian yung number 4. Then, equals. We have here guys, 0 0.125. So, ang nakuha natin dito is 0 0.1. No, balik tayo dun guys sa choices. So, let's try. Ano kaya dito yung answer? So, feeling ko letter D. So, itry natin yung letter D. So, for D. So, for letter D, you have 1 over S squared plus 4. Then, i-substitute natin yung in natin na value for S dito. So, it means that, kung masatisfy niya, it means that siya yung answer. So, 1 over, we have 2 squared plus 4. So, that is 1, 8. So, 1, 8 is equal to, you have 0 0.125. So, it satisfies our answer here in our calculator. It means that the answer here is letter D. So, that's it guys. I hope that you find this video helpful. So, before I end this video, I want to shout out Engineering Wins PH. You can follow them on Facebook. And I also included their link in my video description thank you for my 1.47k subscribers on youtube i really appreciate your support guys so thank you for supporting this channel god bless you and stay safe see you on my next video